And good morning, everyone. Can you hear me in the back there, Sean? Sounding all right? Terrific. Well, it's my pleasure to welcome you all to these commencement exercises marking the end of what has been a fabulous school year, the 231st school year, in fact, since the founding of this great school that is Moses Brown. It's a great pleasure to see the entire school community gathered together here under the shadow of the elms, our sunny spirits amplified by this increasingly warm weather as we celebrate this incredible class. And by the whole school community, I am delighted to see some faces returning. Ben Young in the back. It's nice to see you. Scott Gordon, you're not gonna escape notice either. Welcome back, it's nice to see you. I wanna thank all of you for coming this morning and more broadly for all the different roles you all have played in supporting this incredible group that makes up the class of 2015. I'm joined on stage this morning by friend and colleague Habib Gorgi, who's the clerk of the Board of Trustees, our guest speaker, Ashoka Mukpo from the class of 1999, Director of Friends Education, Galen McNamara-Hammond, our esteemed, highly esteemed head of upper school, Debbie Phipps, our academic dean, Laurie Center, and Dean of Students, Kevin Matson. Thank you all for coming and for your leadership this year. So it's hard to believe that once again, we have reached the end of the school year. It's been a great year. I sort of knew that it would be. Last spring, Andrew and Tommy scheduled a meeting with me because they wanted to launch their senior year by organizing an all school barbecue. And they were incredibly organized and passionate about it. You guys remember that meeting? Yes. <laughs> well, the event that they end eventually orchestrated was smaller in scale, and I think that was probably a good idea. I got the distinct impression at the time that this was going to be a class that would really accelerate the, the culture of the school, and they certainly have not disappointed. Debbie, who is our head of upper school, often describes this class as super nice. Right, Debbie? She said so last night, in fact, in her address at baccalaureate. It's been important to this class to make a positive mark on the school and they certainly have. Committed leaders and role models for younger students, they helped create new events and new activities like Spirit Week and Movie Night, a different kind of carnival, all of which increased, increased school spirit and made MB a very welcoming place. Now, the cohesive nature of this class is all the more remarkable because of the diversity of their backgrounds. The class includes citizens of Canada, Scotland, and China. And by the way, I'd like to extend a very special welcome to Kai's parents who win the award this morning for coming from the furthest distance all the way from China to help us celebrate. And <laughs> Thanks, David. Among this group, obviously we have students fluent in Mandarin, but also German and Spanish, and others whose Colombian and Nigerian and Turkish heritage has deepened our community's global awareness. This class's interests are equally varied. The class of 2015 includes poets and performers and photographers, artists, musicians, singers. There are budding filmmakers, dedicated dancers. There's an Eagle Scout a volunteer firefighter, several camp counselors, and at least three amphibians. One who spent five years of her adolescence on a sailboat, another who has sailed across the Atlantic, and a third who's the first mate of MB's sailboat, the Friendship. Now, these and other passions have been on vivid display all year long, and particularly in recent weeks, for example, during senior project presentations. I had the good fortune of listening into presentations about tourism in Rhode Island, about black and white photography, the construction industry, and also drones, or should I say, unmanned aerial vehicles, Read. <clears throat> I, I figured I had to have my own stunt, right? So, <laughs> right now, Reed in the front row is actually driving this uh, vehicle, if you can't see it, just over my shoulder. Reed is one of the country's foremost experts on emerging drone technology, and his drone this morning is mounted with a GoPro video camera. So what I'd like to do is to capture some video. I want to do a wave. 
that goes all the way from this side over and back. And when it's done, I'm hoping the entire community for video can yell, congratulations, class of 2015. Can we do that? So wave over and back, and then everybody together, congratulations, class of 2015, and this is going to make a great video. All right. Are we ready? Ready for the wave? Let's do it. Wave. Amazing control. <laughs> we thought of having it land on my palm, but I got a little anxious about that. <laughs> Reed swore he could do it, but uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't going for it. In any case, this class, as you can see already this morning, has an incredible creative flair, and that's been on uh, ready display all year long. Some of our artistic groups and events, for example, improv, various music ensembles, and certainly the plays this year all reached new heights under this class's leadership. Students. Everybody knows this, you also excel athletically. Since entering ninth grade, your class has contributed to state championships in sailing, golf, football, field hockey, lacrosse, and swimming. Did you know that you've set 36 school records just in track and swimming? As, indeed. As a result, no less than 30 of you just about a third of the class is planning to pursue athletics in college, competing in track and swimming, as well as baseball, basketball, cross country, field hockey, football, ice hockey, lacrosse, sailing, soccer, softball, and tennis. Now, with all these interests and accomplishments, it's not surprising to any of us that seniors applied to 223 different institutions of higher education. More than half the class applied binding early decision and saw a two-thirds acceptance rate, very strong validation of their readiness for college. And the seniors are headed to a great variety of schools, including several of you who are going abroad, one to Oxford, another to Shanghai. So students, amazing students in this class, with all that behind you and much more ahead, I know that I speak for everybody assembled here in saying that we are incredibly proud of all your accomplishments and absolutely confident that you are ready to tackle the world. My parting advice to you, if you'll allow me to give you any, is to take advantage of all the opportunities that cross your path, push yourselves to try new things, and look for chances to make a positive difference. That's what you've done here at Moses Brown, and I think you're ready, ready to apply those skills on the world stage. On behalf of everyone at Moses Brown, we extend our heartiest congratulations to you and wish you Godspeed next year and beyond. Thank you very much.